Welcome to Linux Sub Tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you how to restrict particular directory access for SFTP users in your Linux machine. SFTP means Secure File Transfer Protocol. SFTP is used for transferring files between remote host and a local host. Defaultly, SFTP protocol will have full access for that remote machine's file system. In this video, we are going to restrict some directory access for that SFTP user. We can allow SFTP users to access only single directory in the remote host. Then the user cannot be able to view the rest of the file system on the remote machine. Now in this machine, we are going to restrict some directory access for that SFTP users. Here we have a user called user1. Here, for this user, we are going to restrict some directory access for that SFTP protocol. Now, we need to create a group for SFTP access and we need to add the user to that group. So, let's create a new group. Now, type group add space group 1. The group name will be group 1. Now, hit enter. Now the group is created. Now run the following command to add this user into this group. So type user mod space hyphen capital G space group name space and the username. Now hit enter. Here mention the username correctly, otherwise, you will get an error user1 and hit enter. Now the user is added to that group. Now open the SSH configuration file win space slash etc slash ssh slash sshd underscore config and hit enter. Here come to the last line. Here comment this line. And add the following entry. Now add entry like this. Here I have mentioned the group name as group1. This group contains the user called user1. We want to restrict some directory access for that user. So we need to mention the group name here. Inside this group we can add a number of users to restrict some directory access for a particular users. And we need to mention the directory path for particular users. Then the particular user will have access to this directory only. And the rest of the directories will not be accessed by the SFTP users. Now save and close the file. After the modification of the SSH configuration file, we need to restart the SSH service. So run the command system ctl space restart space sshd and hit enter. Now consider this machine as a remote machine. I have another machine, a local machine. Now I will move to that local machine. Here this is the local machine. Here I want to access the remote machine by using SFTP protocol as we have blocked some directory access for SFTP users. So now we can able to log into the remote machine by using SFTP protocol only. If you try to log in as SSH protocol, you will get an error. So let's check it. Now try to log into the remote machine via SSH protocol. So now type SSH space user1. This is the user in my remote machine at remote machine IP address. 192.168.5.88 Now hit enter. Now type the user1 password for that remote machine. And hit enter. Here you will get an error. Which means this home directory is not accessible. Here you can see the service allows SFTP connections only. 
so the user cannot able to log in via SSH protocol so let's try to log into the remote machine by using SFTP protocol SFTP space user1 at 192.168.5.88 and hit enter now type the user1 password for the remote machine and hit enter now we have connected to the remote machine by using SFTP protocol now type ls and enter here you can see this is the accessible directory for that SFTP connection if you try to access any other directory means you will get the error so let's check it cd space slash root and hit enter here you can see you will get an error we can't able to access the directory we have access only slash home directory you can able to change the directory path if you wish for that we need to modify the SSH configuration file as I shown in this video type exit and enter now let's move to the remote machine now we are in remote machine here open the SSH configuration file so type vim space slash etc slash ssh slash sshd underscore config and hit enter here this is the entry we have previously created here we are going to modify it now change the directory path slash project slash files and save the file now create the directory mkdir space hyphen p slash project slash files now restart the service system ctl space restart space sshd now let's move to the local machine now we are in local machine now try to connect to the remote machine by using ftp now type the command and hit enter and type the user1 password and hit enter now we are in the directory path slash project slash files now let's try to move to the slash home directory cd space slash home and enter here you can see the slash home directory is not accessible for sftp connection so you can able to change the directory path in ssh configuration file so today you have learned how to restrict some directory access for SFTP connection. That's all about for this tutorial. Hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you for watching.